In the beginning, our God had to die for us to survive. This is actually more accurate than you imagine, since science tend to prove it. Um, in this episode, I'd like to talk more about astrotheism and the creation of all that is. The God who gave birth to all of us died in the process of making all of us. Now, astrotheism is basically the worshipping of the planets, also the stars and the moons. Science says that it was a gigantic star that exploded, and because of this great explosion, gave birth to all the chemicals that we now know. It made the animals, it made the plants, it made the elements, it made us, it made everything that you could see, touch, smell, feel, or taste. It created everything that is. And I truly believe that. I truly believe that the God that created us had to die for us to live. And he gave birth, he, she, it, them, it gave birth to our sun, our star, our sun, that he is God's son, the light of the world as indicated by the Bible. He is, he rise from the east, in our perspective that is, and sets to the west, to our perspective that is, <coughs> and through him life was created on this planet. So no one can go through, through our true creator through him. It is the Son that is our Jesus Christ. It is the Son who is our Savior. It is the Son that gave birth to all of us. He is the one who walks over the water, obviously, because he does walk over the water. <laughs> he walks over the skies. I mean, you will see him coming in a, cloud, a chariot of clouds. Duh. Um, he rises from the east, he sets from the west, and he promised every year when he dies, I, mean, I don't want to use the word die, when he leaves us to the southern hemisphere, he promised that he comes back, and he always, always done that. This is my praise to the sun, for he is our savior. Blessed be.